the Arty Army Hearties. Welcome to another Space Engineers episode, and it seems like we have another mystery on our hands. Now, we have a couple of landing legs here, with a couple of blocks on, and I have no idea how they got here, but we can't, we can't see Myrtle Bus. Have you seen the grinding ship? I didn't, no. I thought no. we left it somewhere around here. It's yeah, very, I th very I, strange. Yeah, I think actually I remember parking it here. Yeah. <gasps> Look around, search. <gasps> it get, I, I have clues, Watson. I have clues. Great Scott. <gasps> oh my lord. Here it is. What happened? What happened, Jars? Our beautiful ship. I, be I shall theory craft. I believe that our defense mechanism isn't <laughs> up to par. <laughs> it's, it's poor. <laughs> <laughs> it's complete. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> and <laughs> it's taking out the storage unit, which the g landing gears were attached to, and it's launched this thing off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, by the looks of it, it shouldn't be too hard to repair, at least. Everything mm -hmm. else is still in one piece, which is nice. So that's good. Uh... Yeah, we should be able to fix it. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we want to um, do an upgrade. We mm -hmm. had this guy, and he was cool. We want to kick it up a notch and make a giant grinding area and we've already kind of planned something out which is what we've been doing which is why you haven't had an episode in the, little, the last day we've been doing yes. some planning so unfortunately we couldn't get anything out for you but now we have a good plan and that is what we're going to start today yes indeed All it's right. the perfect plan <laughs> yeah now should we <laughs> is that thing slowly drifting off into space should we I, b I believe it is slowly drifting off into space. Let's. All right. Let's... We'll rescue that, and then we'll bring you guys back when we're ready to begin the next project. Now, can I just grab it? You might be able to just fly it back. Yeah, you can. Oh, there you go. <laughs> just put it right back where it was. It'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just a little bit of tape. It just. It's duct tape time. <laughs> I just. I'll just park it back where it was. <laughs> like so. Okay, come on. <laughs> now, for those f not familiar with the game, you can't actually like connect these parts back together now that they've broken apart. The only way is to kind of rebuild it. So we'll have to delete the landing legs, rebuild the storage Perfect. container, and then reattach <laughs> some new landing legs to it. <laughs> there you go. It's fine. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> happened here, guys. Everything is perfectly okay. Well, then, shall we just move right into our project? <laughs> since that's all Seems like care. a very good idea. Yeah. All right. So... <laughs> The main thing we want to do is be able to capture these guys. Which one is this? The military mine layer, I think. We want to be able to capture yes. this guy and just automatically kind of crush him into little pieces so that we can use him for stuff and things. Yes. So, so he's kind stuff of what we're, we're going to base this um, project out of. Is We're going to use him as our our scale, I guess. So we want to... Because we, go ahead. We do believe that he's one of the biggest ships. Now the solar sail, or the big uh, commercial freighter, does have a big area. Yeah, this But we'll have here. to deal with that in some other way. But we'll weight the scale of the mine layer because it's one of the biggest. Yeah, trying to make something that's big enough to cover this whole surface area isn't worth it, we feel. There's, yeah. a, there's other ways we could deal with that. So what have we laid out here, Jaws? We have laid out the well, the general shape of a wall of destruction. Oh crap, we just got hit. <laughs> See it again? Yeah. Well, it hit the asteroid right, right behind us. Hopefully it doesn't right. hit our ships that we made. We should probably move those. Like underground or in the asteroid. I wonder if the bug is still there that it doesn't damage small ships. Because it didn't. Oh really? Four. The asteroids or the turrets? The the asteroids. Oh really? Yeah, nice. But I, I am putting mine behind the solar panels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go put mine somewhere as well. Um, <laughs> are we still attached? We are, or at least I am. This yeah. is our parking brake <laughs> thing. Yeah, and it's uh, I. It's no longer attached to the station. I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I kind of bumped it. Oh, you did disconnect it. Yeah, I disconnected my the ship. Yeah. Okay, uh, I'll take it. Uh, in. Whoa, <laughs> no. that was that was really weird. <laughs> I'm guessing you turned uh, it on. 
Yeah, I was going to mess with you, but I messed with myself. <laughs> bye bye, parts. <laughs> bye bye. Did I pull it away? <laughs> bye bye. Yeah. Okay. Bye bye. All right. Farewell. I'm going to leave mine inside the asteroid that's at the bottom of our shaft. And that way, if we have to do any mining down there, we can use him. If we do any mining on the surface uh -huh. of the asteroid, we'll probably use jars. Yes. To door maker. All right. So originally we were looking at grinding down these rock surface and flattening out, and we kind of showed you that. We decided it's not <laughs> that's going to take too long. Um, yeah. So we decided to move our design a bit higher up, and back then we didn't really have a design in mind anyway, but now we do. So we're going to work on the first stage of this design because it's going to be a fairly big project, and there's no way we're going to get it done in this episode. But we can get it started, and we'll yeah, you get a general idea of what's going on, and then we'll we'll move on to the other parts and bells and whistles of this thing in a future episode. Yay! So what are we working on today, Jaws? Which part? Uh, we are working on the actual grinding parts Excellent. of the machina uh, that will eat anything in front of it. Yes. With pure, destructive, organized destruction. So our little robotic chicken there on the edge, peeking off into space with his insides removed. <laughs> <laughs> So he, the way we were grinding down that ship before, we positioned him above and we slowly moved down and grinded the ship. We're going to do the opposite. We're going to keep the we're going to try to keep the blades stationary, and we're going to move the ship into the blades, and it's going to chew it up that way, like a trash compactor. Yes, it's beautiful. It's going to be beautiful. You're going to be so happy. You're going to be oh, that's so pretty. I like it. I just want to watch this for the next ten episodes. Exactly, and that's what you'll get. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> uh, okay, so Jars actually mocked up a design before we recorded here, and we were working on it the yes. other day, kind of throwing out ideas, and yeah, he kind of got one that works quite well, based on what we were playing around with. So first, the wall of of blades. Are we going to isolate it from the station I can't remember I think if you that had... is a good idea because we're going to use uh, turn on and off the reactors. Yeah. As a way to turn it on and off. So what you saw in our last episode, and I kind of ex there's some suggestions in the comments, and thanks to everybody who um, was trying to help us figure out why our the grinders weren't moving stuff over, and it's kind of a kind of a bug, I guess. Um, if you only turn on the grinders by equipping them in the the menu and just holding down the mouse button, which I believe is what I did, and I assume that's what Jars was doing as well. Yeah. They won't actually move items out of them. They won't push them. They'll just sit in the drill, or in this case, the grinder. So if I go into here and pull down the grinder, and I activate this by just turning them on like so, that's not going to do anything. But if you do go into the menu here and you turn on these grinders manually, they will then push the items out that they receive into a container if there's one connected. So that's what we were having <laughs> trouble with, and I don't know what yours is doing. So but just... this is pretty tedious, and we only have four grinders, and that wall we're going to make has... Whoops. Whoops, be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot I was still in the ship. <laughs> Woo, it's quite maneuverable. It is. Yeah, so this, this one only has four grinders. Wow, voice crack. And the wall we're going to make is going <laughs> to have a lot more than that. So the easiest way to turn them all on and off is just to have a reactor hooked up to them all and be able to just jump in a cockpit and turn off the reactor, and that will turn off all the grinders or turn them all on at the same time. But to do that, we can't have it attached to our other station that currently has power, or we'd be turning off that power as well. So we have to isolate it, basically, keep the systems separate. Yes. So that said, is this where we... Let's see... This is where our wall is going to be, or is our wall going to be further back, you think? Yeah, I think we're actually going to do bring it further back. Uh, so that's actually a... Okay, I'll take just as a, good idea. a line to draw. I'll bring this back so we can at least build. Yeah, see how far we... Yeah, we can bring this back pretty far. Then we have the bottom part here. Now, Morilibus, since I've, I'll say this in a way so it's not extremely obvious, but uh, do you want to flip the design upside down so we can lower it into the asteroid better? Oh, I see. And then we get the other part on the top 
That might be a little bit cool. Oh, yeah, it'd be cool. So it would be hanging... No, wait. It would hang over top then, right? And then down? You guys might not understand yeah, what we're saying, but we'll understand. Yeah, no, that's that was an incredibly stupid idea, so just ignore that. <laughs> it would be cool. That part, I think, would look a little weird. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll, that we'll, would, no, that wouldn't work. It would kind of work, but kind of wouldn't, I guess. Yeah, this might be better the way we had it. Yeah, but we would have a limited height. Yeah. But right, yeah. right. Okay. We're good. Yeah. We've had a thought making process. We're, yeah. We're ready to continue. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, how about um, back here? I get, oh, there goes one that flew past. Yeah, we'll have to upgrade our our defenses here in an upcoming episode. For now, we're just going to risk it. <laughs> and yeah, we're we'll risking it. We'll assume whatever breaks we can fix. Yeah. I heard an explosion. We lost the solar panel. Oh, we sure did. <laughs> oh, are we out of... Is one of... Holy shit, this is... They're all making it through. Stop something. <laughs> Please. Why don't they hit? I don't understand. Oh, and, and now they're shooting our base. Now they are shooting the base instead. I'm sorry about the <laughs> mouse wiggling. Now they shot They shot the, uh, got... the, the freighter. <laughs> they're terrible. What we should do oh is God. move them maybe further towards the sun. Although I'm not sure at what distance these meteors... What are they called? Meteoroids? Damn it. <laughs> I, was I don't know. I think they're, they're flying rocks. I think they're meteoroids. Damn it. Let's forget this. Me meteorites? I think meteorite is something that you would discover on a planet, like after it's hit. I'm not ah, sure. That's true, yes. So, yeah, I apologize. We're not um, too we're not savvy with all the, the terminology. For <laughs> I know this is an asteroid that we were attached to. And those are meteoroids, I think. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> before I make but myself sound stupider, more stupid. Uh, all right. Um, yes. Are we good? Uh, we it's are over. the best. All right, so back to oh, the... Oh, you mean like that? Back okay. to the... <laughs> <laughs> is, do you think this is good good distance back for the our wall? It might be a little bit far back, so this would probably become the very front. Yeah. Is that what we want? Or not quite? I think we want this to be kind of the middle, do we? Maybe? <laughs> So right about, come on, cursor. There it is, there it is, got it. Right here? Yeah, that will be fine. And it will, we'll, we'll place it there and it will be fine. It will be fine. <laughs> we will make it fine. All right, so we have a distance of, I think, a width of 15, roughly. How do we want to connect this wall then? With a, a rotor sticking straight up in the middle? The rotor... No, we don't want to do that, do we? How do we want to separate uh, it, or with lint? And uh... uh, we'll do the uh, the the back wall, or is this the the um, is this the grinder wall? Yeah. How do we want to? The grinder wall can stay attached to the station, and we'll make a separate station. Oh, okay, we just don't want to connect it. Yeah, we can do that. Sure. Yeah. Okay, I like that. Now, I wonder, Good can idea. I make? I have an idea to use a catwalk as a. Terrible idea. Separator. Terrible idea. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. So you could still run across it, but it's not connected. Yeah. I'll see. I see if that works. Now they won't technically be connected. And do we want to recess either, so. these drills like you had them? Did that work good for piping them up? Uh, I that. Sh or do we want to do it a cheaper no. way? No, we want to make uh, what we did yesterday. Okay. So I'll make this... There's many cryptic things. <laughs> yeah, things that only make sense to us. Uh, we're sorry about that. We don't mean to shut you out, but you will get it once we uh, get this thing going further on. Yeah, we figure it's... Uh, you will get all the stuff we're <laughs> saying now. Yeah, we figure it's more fun if you watch it being made than if we just tell you exactly what we're doing. Yeah. Then there's no surprise. Surprise! No surprise. Okay, so I'm going to make this back wall, and then we'll... We'll attach the drills and the pipes to the front of it, I guess. Yes. How many rows? Do we want four rows or three rows is enough? I think one, two, one, two three, three, four, four. Two, three. Let's say four. So four would bring it up one more. Assuming we don't have any drills on the outside, right? 
they can be in one block because they can reach. Yeah, they're they're in one block. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we don't need to drill every block. We can space them so there's a one block between or two blocks between, just one, right? One, one. Yes. I'll start making the grinders. Okay. Okay. So that okay, would mean okay. that we have eight times four. I don't know math. You tell me. <laughs> eight times four is thirty-two. I hope. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Please be right. <laughs> you don't understand, guys. When you record and you're talking, <laughs> your brain does not function like it normally does. So no, if you're okay doesn't. at math when you're recording, you're complete rubbish. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Excellent. So while we're placing these, I think we might take a little cut here because this is painful what I'm doing because it's so hard to align these blocks. So I don't want to give you guys a seizure with this block <laughs> strobing in and out of existence. <laughs> uh, yeah. And while Jarvis gets all those parts together, we'll get this rough shape and we'll bring it back. Hello, welcome back. So we have the uh, wall finished, the magical wall of uh, organized destruction. We have a little bit of a floor uh, as well, and we have a started on a collection system of uh, items in storage units because those will not be picked up by the grinders. So we need a separate uh, hopper line to pick those up. And hoppers are the collectors. You don't know our wordings. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so our grinder ship there, I was actually trying to repair it and it got hit again by another asteroid. Yes. Which is very strange. Leads me to believe that they had not so much a random path, but they're going to hit the same trajectory every time. Because for that guy to get yeah. hit twice in the same spot the seems same very spots. rare. Yeah. But you can see now um, it broke its spine. <laughs> So he's paralyzed. We're sorry, we Grinder Ship. To... You had a short life. And unfortunately, everything that was in his storage container, which was everything we grinded off from that ship, is now gone. <laughs> so we took, which a hit. Is... we took a hit from that. We lost a lot of steel plates and stuff that we could use yeah, that was for this project. Big Oops. loss. At least <laughs> 9,000 steel plates yeah. was in that storage unit. Whoops. Whoops, did I see? <laughs> <laughs> the risks we uh, take. But anyway. Yeah. So yeah, we're laying out these grinders, as Jaws is demonstrating. So just they don't need to be every block, which is good. So we can space them yes. out like Jaws has been doing there. So every other block. Yes. And that also uh, makes room for the do... tubes. Oh wait, um, mm, yes. I currently have, we have more orientated so the tubes will be going straight up and down. Oh, yeah. We I don't guess want that, that doesn't matter, does it? It's still just one. I don't no, know. No, it does matter. Uh, the amount of conveyors we will need is double if we place them like this. Hmm. We'll need eight conveyors instead of four. Which I think justifies rotating them. Well, we still need them going the other way anyway, though. So I don't know. Oh, maybe it does. Meh. 
Meh, we're placing them like this now. <laughs> that's, the way we, that's the way we had placed them before, so we'll do this anyway. They're consistent with uh, our plan before. Yes, and if you don't know, the reason why you can place them like this is because they do uh, grind in a area in front of them and not just right in front of them. So they will grind. Uh, let's see if I can demonstrate this is in a nice fashion. They will grind in a little big, big bigger area than this so it will grind out the corners around here so it can grind uh, nine blocks at a time though very unlikely you have to get them right in the center for them to do that and so they do actually cover up the entire area here there's no block that can fit between right. and not be grinded other than small ship part perhaps right but we're not exactly gonna be, small ships. This is our large ship grinder. We're not going to need to really use it for small ships. Yeah, that would be wasteful. So there we have it. We have eight by four. So our 32 grinders are all there. And now we just got to fill them up. Jaws is depositing some parts. And he already uh, went yes. ahead and made all these in the our assemblers. So all we really have to do now is transfer parts. And all I have on my person is steel plates. And I think jars also has steel plates, so I'm going to start at the other end. I had a little bit. Okay. Not enough. I'm not placing any steel plates now. Gotcha. Or haven't for a while. I'll start from the bot or the top. I'll make my way to the bottom, and then I'll meet up with which wherever you ended up. Yeah. Assuming I have enough to get that far. Wee! <laughs> That's kind of fun. Just fly through. Uh, fly through. I do like that about this game. It's kind of weird. There's no down. It's very strange, but fun. Yeah, there's no directions whatsoever, actually. Yeah, it's all relative. So right now I'm flying up. I did have a <laughs> commenter that said that you could use the sun as north and the other way as south. But east and west, I didn't really understand what he meant, because you would need east, west, and then the, they're missing two directions. East, west, and yeah, down, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, you can kind of simplify it, I guess, that way. If you take yeah. our area, use our station as kind of the horizontal plane and just kind of fly straight up. And then from there, looking down at the station, if you use the sun as a north, I guess it could make some sense that way. But again, we wouldn't have that up and down reference. Yeah. If something is below the station or above the station to some degree. Yeah. And if we can't see the station and know which way it is, that's also that we lost that direction. Yes. Okay, so I've but run we have out of sun. steel plates. <laughs> I don't think we're going to have enough steel plates for this. Did, we should have. Did we use some for Unless something you else? them all for the wall. <laughs> no, I didn't do any on the wall. Oh. I loaded up on so. steel plates and I've been putting them into the drills. Maybe we'll have enough. We'll see. Where did I stop putting steel plates? But yes, we'll finish these guys up regardless, and then we'll bring you guys back yes. for the next spot. We have the first one finished! Yay. Sort of, not really. <laughs> We're getting there. No, oh, I finished some of them. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, we, might, we might have enough steel plates. I think I just met up with where you had deposited yours, uh, so... Uh, we perfect. might be good. I don't think I have any more parts on me. More parts needed. Oh, I have... Um, we should only need construction components. Okay, did you cancel all those? Uh, there's still thruster components in here. Uh, do those things take thruster yes. components? No. Okay. No, we need... We need Alright, I'll load up on construction steel components. Steel plates. Steel plates and construction components. Okay. Yeah, so we'll bring you guys back once we've uh, done these things. Yes.
and welcome back we have finished all the grinders and it's kind of time to say goodbye so we wanted to give you something kind of cool to see before we say goodbye and that will be Q destruction organized destruction so yes this is a crude representation of what this is going to do so we got Jaws in that ship as a little tugboat he's gonna push this the remainder of this uh, mining ship military miner or whatever it's called he's gonna push him into the blades yes now this military miner is not the best ship to actually push this way because it's so much heavier than this ship that I have massive <laughs> problems controlling it yeah luckily the remainders of that ship was still completely flyable so we were able to position it pretty much right in front of the wall and then Jars just yeah. has to kind of push it forward but yeah. this won't be necessary once this whole project is done. I'm just going to sneak peek at it in yes. action. It does take quite a while with the heavy armor. Yes, the heavy armor do take quite a while, which I guess is reasonable. Yeah. So looking at this jars, this is kind of the ship we wanted to design this to be able to grind. And looking from the side, the ship is taller than yes. the wall. So we might want to add in just one more uh, line of grinders on top. That way we yes. will be able to crush this guy without any problems. We don't yes, want parts. And I'm not going to keep going, so you can turn them off, I think. All right. This is also good because we kind of need some steel plates no. since we lost all the ones we had <laughs> gotten from yeah. grinding it. So if we can manually do this, it will get us some parts. Yes, you can. You you should be able to turn them on, and we should be able to do a little bit more. I was you just worried about the storage. Okay. Yeah. Right now they're not hooked up, so that's our next step, but we don't have time to do that today. Yes. So right now it's just storing the parts into these, into the grinders themselves. And now we get the good, the good visuals, which we didn't get. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this uh, Because is cool. we were so far back, and I can actually notice the game slowing down. <laughs> it's really obvious for me. It looks like everything is going in slow motion. But yeah, you can see the guys drilling or grinding out of pure anger. <laughs> oh, no. It actually, the storage wasn't enough. Oh, parts are falling down. Yep. All right. So we'll stop it there. And yeah, next our next parts, which we'll, we'll continue on in the next episode. We'll work Turn on it expanding. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm getting there. There we go. Oh, oh there you notice. <laughs> Time has started again. <laughs> now the reason this one wasn't grinding is because uh, the hitbox was cornered so otherwise this would have taken it but it would have taken it once it gotten closer yeah we we have tried this and it does work perfectly yeah should it's be awesome amazing. guys once we're done but yeah this is the beginning of it stay tuned for more next time and the time after that and the time after that and the time after that and the 32 and the episodes after that, after that. <laughs> So yeah, so we're going to say goodbye now. I hope you had a fantastic time and we shall see you the next time. Bye-bye.